beautiful clear September night, and you can even see stars. One star, anyway, I can see more myself, but they're not showing up in the, um, they're not showing up on the screen. Anyway, let's, uh, head back to Camp Crazy. Back to Camp Crazy. I'm hearing something back there. I hear something. It sounds like something chewing on something. Probably raccoons. They'll likely scatter when they see me. If it is raccoons, they'll likely scatter. This is around the time they visit, usually. Try to get into the garbage. And so on. Don't see them right now, though. Except I heard Rocky jump down. Oh, here we go now. Don't want him getting out. Hey, no, 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 no. We're not going out. We're not going out. We gotta be really quick because he's really quick. I heard him jump down. I heard his little feet hit the floor. Hey, you! I'll turn off the light here so I'm not shining it in your face. Yeah, he says that's what I wanted you to do, not to be shining the light in my face. Anyway, um, we're back. I'm back anyway. Hi, Rocky. Would you like some treats? I didn't give you your treats last night before we went to bed. Let's give Rocky his treats. Ah, Ooh. look what I've got for you. Oh, chicken treats and different treats. Yeah, let me get them out. All right. Hey, you. Look. Look, Rocky. Look. Come here. Come here. we got to find a spot there for you to get them. There you go. Those are for you. Yeah, those are yours. Nobody else's but yours. They're your treats, okay? He loves his treats. He wants a little rub, though. Jeremy, from Kansas, asked me to give Rocky some head rubs. So here's some head rubs from Jeremy. A little chin rubs and head rubs and things, eh? Yeah, how are you? He's purring. He seems to like it. He seems to like his head rubs. I was just at the bank. I had to go to the bank at 4 a.m., because I ordered a cell phone that's supposed to be here tomorrow. Because this cell phone is now dead. It won't take a charge at all. It's got some, some power left in it. It's got like 27% of its power left in it. But it's basically dead. So I had to go into town at 4 a.m. And put $100 cash into the bank. To make sure. Because the cell phone's going to cost 170 And I only had around a hundred in the bank, so this is to make sure that it passes anyway, which is something I often don't even have that, and I often don't have any cash either, a lot of the time. I have neither a hundred dollars in the bank, nor any cash on hand, but right now I've, wor I've worked a lot in the last week, 
so I actually do have some cash. It's cash that I'm supposed to be saving so for propane and whatnot in the winter time, so Rocky and I don't freeze to death. But I need ha I need to have a working cell phone. The, the 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 phone that I have no longer does the job. So yeah, it no longer takes a charge. It would work otherwise, but the charging ports on these things are terrible. I've got this mirror on here holding the thing down hoping that it will connect and sometimes that works but it's not working today we got 27 percent of a charge and once that's gone there is no more charge yeah all right <laughs> we'll see you later hi rocky there's more head rubs from jeremy he's in branson right now he is i was going to ask him because he said he's a mile down the road from dolly parton and I have a wicked sense of humor, of course, and kind of a vulgar and dirty sense of humor that causes offense many times. But uh, I was going to ask him to um, give Dolly a rub. But <laughs> just as well I didn't, I guess. Plus, he's married, so his wife probably wouldn't think very much of that if I did that. But it is a funny thought that crossed my mind anyway. Because <laughs> he said he's a mile down the road from Dolly Parton. And then he asked me to give Rocky some some head rubs. So, anyway, yeah. All right, uh, this is it. I'm going to shut it down now and go back to bed. We'll talk later.